I'm Art Hawkins with the production department. I'm here to go over our flow process. Uh, what we have here is our basic well head design. Go over a couple items here real quick. Uh, we have what we call our production tree, which consists of uh, our B section, which is tied to our casing. Uh, we have double barrier, four valves, uh, both side, back side, and flow side of the wellhead. This here is what we call the A section. This is where we're running our tubing. We do produce through our tubing, which is uh, two and three eighths tubing uh, inside of a five and a half inch production casing. Uh, outside of that, we have intermediate casing that's cemented in between the two strings to separate the barriers so there's no migration into different zones that we're not looking to uh, contaminate or produce anything out of. Uh, we have different names for these valves. These valves are what we have uh, on the wellheads for well control. We have a lower master, upper master valve, a swab valve. Uh, they're all block valves and gate valves, but they're all designed to do different functions, mainly for well control. Uh, downstream side would be tied to our flow line. Uh, we have a block valve. Uh, might be hard to see on this side of the well, but we have a, what we call an ESD or an emergency shutdown valve, uh, which is used for safety purposes. It'll protect us uh, for any uh, different types of alarms, parameters that we have set up through our PLC. Uh, for high pressure, low pressure, high flow, in case there's a washout of some sort, uh, a line breach for low pressure, this will shut in. Uh, if we uh, are having an issue over on the GPU or gas production unit side, it'll shut in and separate the well to the inlet to the production to uh, eliminate environmental spills and uh, expo exposure to the atmosphere. Uh, we have uh, sensing lines. Uh, Tied to the ESD, uh, if for some reason our electrical devices don't, do not shut in the well, we have mechanical devices as a backup that'll trip and shut the ESD on low pressure or high pr pressure purposes also. Have another block valve uh, that is going to be separating and or tying the flow line to the well itself. There's another barrier, uh, safety purposes, uh, in case one of, something washes out or something fails, we may, may have a valve that doesn't want to work uh, for whatever reason. Uh, we do have a second way to isolate and keep the well under control. Part of our maintenance program between the operators and we do uh, contract the crew out twice a year, they'll purge any old grease out of these valves, make sure any particulates, sand, uh, scale, other issues uh, can be flushed out with purging and repacked with fresh grease. The operators do cycle these uh, at least once a month, do a full cycle on all the valves, make sure we have full operation and control of all of our uh, uh, block valves. Tied from the, the wellhead to the flow line side, we have a, a two inch welded pipe. We try to flange and weld everything due to the pressure, uh, and it's a great safety uh, item that we implemented with the design of our facilities. We weld and uh, use a cushion tee. This is uh, basically a, a 90, a welded 90 with a little extra uh, metal on the end here to protect us from erosion in case we do kick up some sand after the frack process. Uh, it helps eliminate a potential breach of the piping. Uh, we do have cathodic protection, so we have insulating kits between the flow line and the wellhead, just to kind of make a separation there. It helps uh, eliminate corrosion. We tie, we do swedge up to a three inch flow line, which runs underground uh, to our gas production units over on the actual production side of the facility. And we do have pressure transducers tied to our casing to monitor casing pressure. Uh, we're currently shut on the downstream side of our B section, which is tied to the casing, but the upstream, back side of the wellheads are open to be able to monitor casing pressure. We also have another transducer tied to our swab valve to be able to monitor our tubing pressure. That helps us determine if, there's, uh, if the well is loaded up, if we, in the wintertime we may run into some issues uh, because of the weather, what we call a hydrate, which is an ice blockage under pressure. Uh, it'll help us determine and troubleshoot the well when we're not flowing for whatever reason. We uh, run instrument air over to our ESD valve, emergency shutdown valve, to uh, be able to 
supply the operation of that valve to work uh, full open or full close.